What's going on, everybody? And this time we have another episode. You can guess that it's gonna be Thursday questions on the Apple Fox channel. And and this time I want to talk about the question that appeared in the comment section under one of my videos. So it was about the iPad, and if you can connect the Apple Watch to the iPad, let's begin. So the thing is that I don't want to make 10 minutes long video just to tell you that no, it's not possible. And instead, I will tell you that, of course, you're not able to do this. But what you have to do is to have an iPhone. I underline it that it has to be an iPhone. And this iPhone needs to run the iOS 8.2 at least. It has to be the iPhone 5 and the newer. You're not able to run it on the older iPhones like for example, you're not able to get it on the iPhone 4S. So on this device, you don't even have the watch app on the home screen. So it's not even possible to pair it to the iPhone 4S. But also you're not able to pair it to the iPad. But I thought about this question. Is there any way how you can connect the Apple Watch to the iPad? Is it even possible in some way? I'm not telling you that it has to be or the original watch app running on the iPad. Is there any way how you can connect these? And I need to tell you that technically there are actually two options or two ways how you can connect the iPad to the Apple Watch. The first one is using an app. If you remember, I showed you in my previous video that you can go ahead and download an app which is called Documents and it's really useful and everything, every kind of document that you type in on your iPhone is going to automatically appear on the Apple Watch and it is synced using internet of course, but for this you can also perhaps use an iPad. By the way, if this is your first time here on this channel and in case you don't want to miss the next upload like this, then click the subscribe button and we're gonna see each other in the next video as well. So technically you're not even connected to the Apple Watch, but the iPad is connected to the internet and the Apple Watch is connected to the phone, which is also connected to the internet. So sort of you have a connection there. I'm not really sure if you know what I'm talking about, but you can actually download the app that is on the iPhone and Apple Watch, like the documents I was talking about, create a new document, which is going to appear on the Apple Watch without you touching the phone, but it needs to be, it needs to be set up proper way. And now let's get to the second way how you can connect it, but you probably know that the Apple Watch needs to be connected to one main iPhone, which is like the main one which the Apple Watch is connected to. So let's say that on this device, which is the main one, and it's connected to this device, you have the option turned on in the settings where you automatically download the apps that are downloaded on other devices. So let's say you download an app on the iPad, you actually have it enabled automatic downloads enabled on the iPhone, which is connected to the Apple Watch. So without touching the iPhone, you hit the download on the iPad, you download an app, which gets downloaded to the to the iPhone. And this one, if they have an app for the Apple Watch, can also have it installed right here. So it means that we skip the iPhone and we sort of have connected the iPad to the Apple Watch. But these are just the theoretical ways how you can connect these. And it's nothing really useful. You probably expected me to tell you that you can do some three steps and get the watch app just like you have on every single iPhone. I mean, it's not possible. It's You can't do anything like that. So yeah, this would be everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope you found it useful and informative. And perhaps if you have some other ways how you can or, or think about connecting the iPad to the Apple Watch, please let me know down below in the comments. I would be really glad to see what you can come up with. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. For more content like this in the future, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Make sure you also click the bell right next to it if you don't want to miss uploads like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.